It's the morning of our second full day here at uh, Casa Ana. I'm here with Adrian Cobas, and uh, he came out to fill up the hummingbird feeders. We're going to attract the bee hummingbird and the Cuban emerald hummingbird here again. We got him to wear the hummingbird spot logo. Adrian has so many birds in his garden, many of them Cuban endemics, that I felt like I was listening to an avian symphony orchestra. One of the endemic birds in the area is the Cuban trogon, the national bird of Cuba. Its red, white, and blue feathers correspond to the colors of the Cuban flag, and the bright colors make this large, pretty bird easy to spot in the trees. The bird has a long, graduated tail, small feet, and a reddish-pink bill. We also spotted some Cuban pygmy owls. It's hard to imagine from the pictures and video just how small these little owls are, but they're only about six and a half inches long from beak to tail. That is likely a baby frog clutched in this one's right talon. William and Adrian took a hike to find another prized Cuban endemic. Aside from the bee hummingbird, the other bird everybody wants to see in Cuba is the Cuban toady. This adorable bird is small and has a large head relative to its body size. The bird is iridescent green above with a red throat, pink flanks, and whitish underparts. What a cute bird! Enjoy the montage of other beautiful birds in and around Adrian's garden. Some endemic and some more widespread, but enchanting nonetheless. The bare-legged owl is also a Cuban endemic. I am mesmerized watching this one. Owls often blink one eye at a time so they can keep focused on their prey. There's a cute little lizard displaying for us right behind me here, right in the garden. This is the first time I ever saw a leafwing butterfly. It was sitting right next to me and on first glance I absolutely thought it was a leaf. I'm walking along the beach on the Bay of Pigs, the site of the 1961 American invasion, which was an attempt by the CIA to overthrow Fidel Castro. 1,400 Cuban exiles living in Miami were trained by the U.S. military, and on April 17th, this brigade began an invasion under the authorization of then-President John F. Kennedy. Castro, however, was informed of the operation, and his troops pinned the invaders on the beach, and they surrendered after less than a day of fighting. 1,100 men were taken prisoner. By July 1965, the last of the exiles were returned to the United States in exchange for $53 million worth of food and medicine. The school kids here ride to school on a bus that's a horse-driven wagon. How quaint. 
I brought all this candy from the United States, so when the kids go by, I want to give some candy to the kids in their little school bus. Let's see how this goes. Anna, Adrian, this was wonderful. I got great pictures, and you two are fabulous. Anybody who wants to see the bee hummingbird and the Cuban em emerald and many other endemics need to come here to Casa Ana. Gracias. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yes. And I hope to see you again. <laughs>